Our four mom's bassinet is here and we are about to put it together. So excited, can't believe we snagged it. This little girl really needs it because she has not slept at night well. Let's hey guys, it. welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title today, we are going to be reviewing the Four Moms Mamaru Sleep Bassinet. We just got this in today. We are unboxing it at our front entrance because of the fact, you know, coronavirus and everything. We like to be really cautious with anything that's coming from the outside world into our little quarantine home. Um, but now what we're going to do is Kevin is going to put it together. And then once we kind of try it out tonight, I'll let you guys know how it went tomorrow. So let's get to it. All right, so the Mamaru Sleep Bassinet for Moms is basically this guy right here, but in a bassinet. This seems pretty simple. It looks like it's just the legs that we have to put together, and it already comes with a sheet, so that's great, and then the power cord as well. All right, so it looks like right here it says pull zippers to bars, and then also here, so it has some instructions on the bassinet itself. Sorry about the noise, but Harper is sleeping, so we need to keep the Mamaru on. It did come with instructions on how to download the app because you can control it through your phone. And also, don't mind my quarantine nails. Girl has not seen a salon in a minute. So we already paired it, it was super easy. You just have to put in the codes that are underneath the bassinet. So then from here, you can actually control it and you select what kind of motion you want. You can also increase the speed and then you can also do the sounds. Super cool. And highest volume. And you can set a timer, which is pretty cool. The reason why you want to do a timer is because you want to get your baby used to a certain sleep schedule so that they aren't always on it. However, you do not have to set the timer, so that's kind of nice too. It says maximum four hours. Okay, so that literally took maybe like two minutes to assemble. All you have to do is put the legs on it and prop the bassinet sides up. And then we're gonna wash the sheet and try it out tonight. It's super easy to use. We'll show you guys how to use um, the different settings and everything, but basically it's like the Mamaru, just a touch screen and a bassinet. Uh, the other cool thing is that you can actually adjust the height on this. Um, we do want it a little bit taller because my husband is actually pretty tall. Even though I'm short, as you can tell, like I'm only 5'2", and then I can clearly just pick her up easily from here. This is the tallest setting, so it can be a little bit lower. Maybe you have a lower bed or something. Um, so I really like that feature that you can kind of adjust that because we couldn't do that with our other one, um, I don't think. <laughs> So anyway, we're going to be trying this tonight and then hopefully baby girl has a really good night's rest. Alright, so it's pretty cool. It's touch screen. It has all the settings right here. Let's go ahead and try this one. And you can increase the speed. Very, very cool. So it's got all the sound settings. It has different volume settings as well. This is vibration. So now we're going to try the wave. Oh, I like this one. Sorry, the camera died. But this thing is freaking awesome. So far, so good. Looks like baby girl is sleeping. The camera works pretty good, even though she's moving. This is the optics camera. You can still see her face. It's a little distorted, but you can see it. And then also the owl sock does work, so that's pretty awesome. All right, so we had one full night with the Mamaru sleep bassinet, and it was pretty great. I think she slept more. At least our outlet sock did show that she had more sleep patterns throughout the night because of it, and she's just waking up right now. Okay. Hey guys, okay, so I didn't finish my outro and the other video. I'm sorry, I'm trying to be quiet because Harper is sleeping. And clearly I'm already waking her up. 
So anyways, I didn't actually end up signing off on the last one because of the fact that we had barely used the bassinet and I thought that wasn't really a fair review because I didn't want to just do an unboxing and then not show you guys exactly or like not tell you guys exactly how we experienced uh, the Mamaru bassinet and we do love it. It's been quite a few days. I think it might have been already a week now. I'm losing track of time. <laughs> Hi. Um, it might have been already a week now, but we do love it. You'll see it looks a little morph right now because we actually have it tilted at a 10 degree angle. This is an okay by our pediatrician because Harper has a reflux. Um, so please do not raise it if your doctor hasn't okayed that. Uh, other than that, you know, we have definitely used it flat. We're just waiting for her reflux to start getting a little bit better but we love it we use the fourth sound setting which is the shush mode she really likes to fall asleep to that one i also read the happiest baby on the block so i thought maybe they go a little bit together and then we use the tree swing which goes kind of up and down um, we don't use it at the highest level we use it at a four and that seems to work pretty good with her too uh, we have other settings in here we have barely had any nap time in here but we have had a couple in the middle of the day and she also likes her nap time uh, yesterday was one of her first good nights in here you know since we lifted it up and she has reflex uh, so all in all I really like the bassinet uh, we actually brought it down lower because we don't want to put her in and somehow push down on the mechanism and ruin it so this way we can actually put her into the bassinet without actually touching the bassinet and somehow ruining the mechanism um, so this is the lowest setting that it comes in and then the other thing is that one thing I kind of don't like is the vibration mode it's really loud um, I don't like it I don't know if Harper likes it um, just to sleep mode wise but I don't like it it's too loud so I don't actually put it on myself um, and then the other thing is it does have a fan so if you guys hear like a little bit of something making noise once you've already turned off the um, Mamaru bassinet it's because it's a fan it's a cooling mechanism that it's trying to not overheat itself you can sometimes smell if it's overheating that's why it has a four hour maximum timer um, so that you don't actually use it like a huge duration our baby doesn't sleep more than an hour or two so I have yet to see it turn off after four hours so I can't like validate that but anyway I just wanted to tell you guys that we really like the Mamaru uh, bassinet and this is a newer one that just came out so if you have any questions please put them in the comments down below I might give an updated one maybe like a few months down the line um, it is pretty large so we are able to use it when she gets a little bit bigger the maximum weight is 25 pounds though so it's either 25 pounds or whenever baby can push herself up with her hands or her feet uh, so those are the safety guidelines but again thanks again for watching you guys and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it is my first review so I might do some review on other things uh, just because I know I love watching them and please consider subscribing